I'd like to share with you a project I made almost 10 years ago. That in itself is a frightening realization for me. I refer to this as a TV stand, but it could easily be adapted for use as a side table or extended to create a coffee table. It's based on an arts and crafts inspired design I once found in the book, with a couple of my own touches added. This was also the first of what would become several of my own articles to feature in British Woodworking Magazine. Sadly, the publication no longer exists. My TV table is made entirely from English oak, and this was my first time working with a native hardwood. All of the boards were purchased sawn, about an inch thick and with waning edges on either side. Transforming these slabs of tree into furniture components was exciting in itself. I purchased the material from a small sawmill called Interesting Timbers, who are based a few miles north of Wales in Somerset. It's sad to think that I've not been there since 2010, but I would wholeheartedly recommend them to anyone. Legs were created from two inch thick material and finished about 38 millimeters thick. All of the rails and slats are joined with mortise and tenons. Where my rails were finished at 19 millimeters thick, I decided to make the slats only 16 millimeters which left a slight shadow line. I have rarely created flush shoulder joints in my work, partly because I think they look less interesting, but also because any slight gaps or inaccuracies can become magnified. I designed these corner brackets to be adjustable for height, but in truth, I've never actually moved the middle shelf and would probably opt for a different method of construction if I was to remake this. For some reason, I left all of the arises at a very sharp 90 degrees on this piece. I've grown to dislike them ever since. It's sharp to the touch and there's an increased risk of the wood splintering if it was to be knocked or damaged. The top is made up from three boards, each one about six inches wide. If this was to remain open and not cluttered with a TV on top, I would have looked for a more visually interesting grain configuration. On a side note, I'd like to express my thanks and gratitude to Richard Morley and the Makers International podcast team. Just over a month ago, Rick gave me a shout out towards the end of the one podcast and in a short space of time since, I've gained between six and 700 subscribers, which is fantastic. If you're not already aware of Richard Morley and the Makers International podcast, I'll include links in the description below. I would like to thank everyone watching this video for your continued support as I recently passed the milestone of 6,000 subscribers. I'm also grateful for the reception to my previous video, as I wasn't sure how that would be received. I do have several more videos in this style coming up, along with others of a different nature. Thanks for watching, for your support, and if you subscribe, I'll see you soon.